Once upon a time, there was a young boy, convinced he was the greatest gamer. But then, he turned to me. Grandma, do you want to play? I smiled. But little did he know, one sip from my energy drink, and suddenly a spark ignited. My eyes sharpened, my grip steadied, and let me tell you, I was owning those noobs. A legend was born. To this day, they say you can still hear the boy whisper. Who knew Grandma could go beast mode? So yeah, that was a 100% AI generated advertisement with a product placement in it without filming anything and without hiring anybody. So I wanna show you what I did from getting the idea of the ad all the way to it being finished. But this is only for you if you're tired of the old way of doing things and you're ready to embrace the new AI way of doing things. So your friends can say, who knew you could go beast mode? So it all started when I saw this eight AI advertisements you need to see video by Curious Refuge. And what surprised me with this video was that they actually had five different people from advertising agencies that were critiquing AI advertisements that his students had done. But not only that, they were looking to hire somebody that could do AI advertising for real businesses. This got me very excited because it means that real companies are looking for this right now. Therefore, I wanted to figure out how I can create a creative advertisement myself. So the first step I did was to go to ChatGPT. And I already had this idea in mind of an advertisement I saw in the past. So I asked ChatGPT, can we make an ad that has an implicit polar opposite? Like for example, a sumo wrestler on ice skates that are just inherently funny. And what it gave to me was an elderly grandma in a gamer setup. Just the idea itself was kind of funny, so I wanted to keep going. And the product I picked was an energy drink for gamers. ChatGPT started writing a bunch of different examples for me and I used it to come up with the tagline, who knew grandma could go beast mode. In a couple more prompts, I gave it some more instructions and was working together with it to bring my idea to life. I also asked it to start making the first visual. This is not what I'm going to use cause I don't like Dolly 3's image generation as much as what I'm going to use. But because it's so convenient, it's got my creative juices flowing, starting to think about how the storyboard would actually look. I ended up with this script right here, as well as some brackets of what I want the actual visuals to be like. But I realized that this is not going to work well unless I find a great AI voiceover. So I went to artlist.io because they have some of the most cinematic AI voiceovers. I saw that they have a AI voiceover plugin available in Premiere Pro as well, but all I wanted to do was to find the perfect voice. So I listened to Mild. Hey, I'm Lucas and I'm an FPV drone pilot. Why do I love what I do so much? I couldn't really tell that it was an AI voice, it almost sounded completely real. The world is so big, so full of magic. The trees whisper, the rivers sing, in the sky. I was considering using that voice to tell the story from the kid's perspective, but what ended up happening was that I found this voice right here. Once upon a time, in a realm of wonders, where every step leads to magic untold, here. Just a perfect grandma voice for our ad. So I clicked on select. I pasted the script in with only the narration part and wanted to click on generate. But first I wanted to check out these settings. They had speed so we could make it faster or slower. The emotion to make it angry, sad, optimistic, curious, and surprised. So I wondered what the curious setting sounded like. I clicked on generate and I was really curious to see what the result would be. Once upon a time, a young boy sat, lost in his game, convinced he was the greatest. But then he turned to grandma and asked, do you want to play? She smiled and said, oh, I couldn't possibly. Little Whoa. Did what an interesting way of making it more lively. I wasn't fully sure if I wanted it to be the curious, 
but rather I wanted to try optimistic instead. Once upon a time, a young boy sat, lost in his game, convinced he was the greatest. I like that a lot more. I also realized that having these characters here in the text is not a good idea. So I removed them, generated it again, and we now had the perfect AI voiceover. We're going to come back to Artlist later to find the music. But if you want to create your own AI voice right now for free, click the link in the description to start using Artlist's AI voiceover. But now came the hardest part of it all, which was the next step, generate the AI images. Luckily from the last step, I had written in brackets what I wanted the visuals to be like. So I went to Kriya.ai, clicked on generate an image. I started prompting using the object plus background prompting formula. And all of a sudden I started copying and pasting the images that I liked the most into pure ref to start creating a storyboard. I was having a blast generating these images. It really is so much fun to write a prompt and all of a sudden you get four images that some are what you're looking for and some are definitely not. I also tried to make the actual design for the can that we would be doing the actual product replacement for. One of the biggest tips that I learned here to keep a consistent character was to make sure that I had the exact same clothes on the grandma every single time. So this is when I try to make her go absolutely nuts and also make sure I keep white curly hair and glasses pastel pink shirt. Adding these characteristics makes the character a lot more consistent. It's not perfect, but it helped me out a lot. I just kept generating more and more images as time was flying by and I was having such a good time. By the end, I was starting to fill up my storyboard and I can really see it all come together. But the next step was what I was worried about the most and that was to add the product placement. As you can see, all the cans were different designs and to really make it an advertisement, we would have to make it consistent throughout the entire advertisement. And this can be a little bit hard because the design we put on top needs to match the actual image itself. I started asking AI for different designs and I ended up on this design here as an example. So what I did was I pulled the image I wanted to change into Photoshop, drag the actual product we want in there, control F and remove background. So we just get the can. Then I would go to the original image, use the spot healing brush, brush over the logo that's on the design already, just like this, make the energy drink a little bit smaller, put it on top, go to the layer settings and make sure to put it at pin light, and depending on the image, I would clean it up so it looks as good as possible. So I ended up creating something like this, this one as well, just a bunch of images that we could use, but I wasn't sure how well it would do in the next step, which was to generate the videos. Luckily for me, Korea has now added video generation directly in their software. So I just started dragging the images in here and added my favorite base prompt, which is slow zoom in. And depending on what I wanted to happen in the image, I would add a descriptor here as well and generate. It was very fascinating that Kriya AI had all of these available video generation models from Halu to Runway and Kling, some of them taking longer, like 10 minutes but that runway was fast and cinematic, really made this easier than ever. I carefully put all the images into the video generation model and I was starting to feel super excited and then this happened. Okay, you know, that's just AI being AI, but what's better than just granny? <laughs> New player has just entered the match. Some of the videos just absolutely blew me away I selected the ones that I knew would be in the video. And sometimes when I had a hard time generating, I would just generate the exact same twice as the first result sometimes weren't the best ones. And sometimes you would also get these glitch effects as well as sometimes a energy drink would just pop up in the video generation, different prompting leading to 
completely different results. But by the end of this, I really got a bunch of shots that I wanted to turn into an ad. You can even see there's an ad in my video generation. Imagine that's just the future when you generate, there's just pops up a generated ad. Now that I got all the images, I was so curious to see how the voiceover and the videos would match and if we can actually make a great advertisement. So the next step that I did was find some music. I knew that music is something that makes or breaks an ad. So I wanted something fairy tale-y, but also something that could go beast mode. I was listening to Artlist's music. And many of the songs sounded really interesting. But it was quite a battle to find the one that I wanted. And that's when I found... I thought this was a perfect song, and especially since they just had the instrumental version, it would work great in our ad. But also, something very important is the sound effects. So I grabbed some deep impact, a little cymbal riser, some whoosh effects, some bird sounds and electricity ready for the most crucial part of them all to bring it all together. I opened DaVinci Resolve and put all my assets in here and started bringing all the assets to the timeline, quickly seeing my advertisement turn into reality. Once the edit was finished, I also added all the sound effects to make it all come together. And I wanna preface how important these sound effects actually are. So let's watch it with sound effects only, and then I'm gonna show you the full thing. As you can see, the sound really almost tells the entire story without the narration and an important part of every single video. But now we have a full AI generated advertisement. I showed you from idea all the way to finishing it. And now there is nothing left but to show you the final result. Once upon a time, there was a young boy convinced he was the greatest gamer, but then he turned to me, Grandma, do you want to play? I smiled, but little did he know, one sip from my energy drink, and suddenly a spark ignited. My eyes sharpened, my grip steadied, and let me tell you, I was owning those noobs. A legend was born. To this day, they say you can still hear the boy whisper. Who knew Grandma could go beast mode? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredibly fun thing to do. I encourage you to go out there and try this yourself. Check out our amazing sponsor, Artlist, in the link in the description for AI voiceovers, music, and sound effects. To this day, they say you can still hear the boy whisper. Who knew grandma could go beast mode? <laughs>